an exciting day out for these children from Belarus. They've been invited on a tour of Bucky's lifeboat station as part of a month-long trip to Scotland. It's been organised by the Friends of Chernobyl Children's Charity. Since 2015, it's welcomed youngsters from regions still affected by the 1986 nuclear disaster. So you can definitely see the difference in the children when they're here. From about the second week, the skin's starting to look brighter. When I met them the first time in Belarus, we asked them, what is your dream? And over half of them said that their dream was to see the seaside. The other half said, have an ice cream. They've had both, many of. The explosion at reactor number four at Chernobyl sent a cloud of radioactive material into the atmosphere. The years that followed saw a spike in the number of cases of cancer in Belarus and Ukraine, including among children. During their time here, the children stay with volunteer host families. It's rewarding for all involved. It's really great to see the, the difference in him in the, the five years that he's came to Scotland. and. Just, even just looking at him now, you can see the, the, the change and he looks a very healthy young boy. I have a daughter and a son, uh, Reed and Brody, and they really love Maxim. Uh, he's really became part of the family since he's been here and just like a little brother to him, to, to both of them. I always stand at the back with a tear in my eye because I don't really want to, to see how emotional I am with the, when they leave, but we know that Maxim will come back uh, and visit us uh, in the future. The aim of this holiday is for the children to develop relationships and experiences that will last a lifetime. They'll be taking those back with them when they return home next week. Louise Hosey, STV News, with the children from Belarus in Bucky. Yeah.